Welcome to the mini lecture on the history of referees and the laws of the game. In this short lecture, we will discuss how the laws and referees have developed in the last century and a half. But before we start, I have a question for you. Did you know that soccer actually does not have any rules? Soccer does not even have a rule book. Now then, what do you think soccer has? Soccer has laws. There are 17 laws in soccer. So it is actually wrong to say the rules of soccer. We don't have any rules. Those 17 laws establish the framework for any soccer across the world. Every year, FIFA, soccer's international organizing body, publishes its law book. On the screen, you can see a picture of the law books from the last four years. Referees study this book closely to keep their knowledge fresh and stay up to date with the latest law changes. So, now you know that soccer does not have any rules. But it was not the case at the very beginning. In history, people played soccer, but there was no universal rules or laws. It was only in the mid-19th century that there were two attempts to establish a set of universal rules. They were called the Cambridge Rules and the Sheffield Rules. As you can guess from the names, these trials happened in England. And in 1863, the Football Association in England created the Football Association Laws. And this is considered to be the origin of the laws that we have today. Since then, a lot have changed. Originally, no forward passes were allowed. There was no designated goalkeeper either. At first, there was no penalty kick. Handling the ball was not penalized with a free kick. The list of law changes is enormous. Some of you may remember the days when the goalkeeper was allowed to handle the ball that was passed back from his or her own teammate. Or you may remember the days when a goalkeeper could keep the position of the ball as long as he or she wanted and as long as he or she kept bouncing the ball on the ground. The offside law has changed quite a bit as well. You may not know this, but in the past, you could not score directly from a goal kick, whereas today it is allowed. A few years ago, the law was changed so that when a player is injured, a doctor comes onto the field first, and only after the doctor considered necessary a stretcher is brought back onto the field. In the past, both the doctor and the stretcher came onto the field. Many leagues had the rule that stretcher carriers would also take a bottle of water for the referee. So before the law change, every time a doctor was on the field, the referee had a chance to take a sip of water that was carried onto the field by the stretcher bearer. But now, when an injured player does not need a stretcher, the referee cannot get hydration because there's only the doctor and the doctor does not carry water for the referee. And of course, it's not just the laws that have changed. Referees changed too. At the beginning, there were only two officials. Each team appointed an official, but they were not there to stop the game. They were there like consultants. But gradually, their roles got expanded. And they started to carry a whistle to stop a game and those two officials sometimes disagreed with each other because they were appointed by different teams. So by the end of the 19th century, they established the system we have today. One referee and two linesmen. In 1996, the name linesman was changed to assistant referee to be politically correct and to reflect the fact the assistant referees have a lot of responsibilities than just as linesmen. 
before the soccer field or the pitch had no lines on the field. It only had flags to indicate four corners. The original soccer pitch was huge, 200 yards by 100 yards. So a lot of change since the 19th century in terms of the field, in terms of the referees, in terms of the laws. And we will see more changes. This is the first World Cup in which the goal line technology is used. You may have seen referees using a white spray to set a wall upon a free kick. The spray is very similar to shaving cream and it disappears after a few minutes. So soccer as a sport evolves and the environment around it is also evolving and referees, the laws, and the system of football or soccer is also changing constantly.